capitalism is what we call a trust in trade between two parties equally benefiting from a transaction. I'm going to stick out to you something that we all have a little bit of faith in. It's called a demand note from the U.S. federal government. And the reason why it's widely accepted is because of something called a little called a, an article of faith that we trust that it will be used as a medium of exchange. And that is the whole basis of a capitalistic economy. When you go in and you look around at, say, I wanted to buy something from this lady. Instead of having to barter, I give her a little bit of a medium of exchange. We trust each other to complete the transaction. Now, if for some reason I'm led astray or have some fraud, I don't like it. And especially when that fraud gets widespread, nobody likes it. But there are remedies to fraud. Number one might be, you know, the lawsuit. Number two might be excessive government regulations. But how about the best remedy ever? Just don't do business with them again. And their reputation is stained. Because I'll tell you, nothing will bring a major corporation to its needs than a loss or staining of its reputation and its credibility in its products. So that's the hell of Burton. You know, Halliburton is not doing as well as it did. That's because they're weak. That's because they're not a true corporation, Charlie. They're weaning off government, no-bid government contracts, part of the corporate welfare system. I'll tell you something. The best thing that I, the best example of true competition that I've even seen is in the consumer electronics industry, for example. When I can take a look at that camcorder that's filming this event right now, which is about the size of a palm of a hand, and see that it does the equivalent of the same thing that a box camera the size of this podium would be larger did in the 1950s, and at better resolution, and at a much cheaper price. That's what capitalism will get you. Yeah. And I think what Ayn Rand did is that a lot of you guys neglect the importance of the creative aspect of capitalism and those businessmen that represent it. Was that made by children? Charlie, I think that was made in by laboratories under contract. That's not a that's not an easy device to replicate. Now, whether you think so or not, Charlie, your job in the federal government, your jobs everywhere are dependent upon the science of innovation that the businessman produces. And it's even more so important now with the flattening of the world and the great economy. There's an economist out by the name of Richard Florida who's basically talking today that the best way for somebody to make money is to add the artistic element to a product or service. You have a better haircut, you have a new, you have a new way of, of doing things, or you add a little value to what you can already get. Frankly, that's the best way to go about bringing the science of innovation going forward. To me, my friends, capitalism wins, socialism loses, but have a humane heart to help those who can't help themselves. Thank you. Thank you.